Hi, thanks for watching. Why would you want to practice half and whole bows? It's so that you can become comfortable and proficient playing in any part of the bow. It's very easy to get the comfort zone, which is the middle part of the bowish, but you need to be able to play at the extremes, at the heel and the tip, just as comfortably. Uh, the first thing to do is to identify where the centre of the bow is so that you know what you're aiming for. And it might be an idea just to put a, a dot of some sort on the bow, a paper dot, temporarily so that you know where it is. And then two parts of the process. First of all, just practice whole bows on one of the open strings, perhaps on the D string. Going from heel to tip, nice and parallel to the bridge with the bow, and then do the same thing with half and whole bows. The bottom half of the bow, bow heel to the middle, and then the top half of the bow, middle to the tip, and so on. Okay, so the final step is to use a scale to do that. Now you can use any scale, any number of octaves, but even just a simple one octave scale will help. And the way to do it is to make the key note twice as long as all the rest of the notes. That means that the key notes will be played as whole bows and all the rest of the notes will be played as half bows. And you'll find that you're taken from practicing in the bottom half of the bow then a whole bow, then to the top half of the bow, and so on. Good practice. So let's just have a go at that using a one octave scale on starting on D. have noticed that I was playing whole bows, I was playing half bows, I was practicing playing half bows from the heel to the middle of the bow and half bows from the middle of the bow to the tip. That's all. Good luck. <laughs>